because everything is so ugly. <laughs> I've been teaching myself how to sew and something I've been really enjoying doing is upcycling or thrift flipping some of the clothes I already own, altering them into a different style, something I'd be more likely to wear and just with clothes that I, I don't really wear in my closet. But I've kind of gone through all the clothes that I'm comfortable with potentially messing up forever so I decided to order a mystery box of thrifted items off of eBay and it should be arriving later today or tomorrow so I'm really excited to receive it and I'm going to try to make some cool thrifted pieces and show you guys the transformations so stick around hey guys so it's the next day my package finally arrived I was hoping it would arrive yesterday but I'm just going to continue on with the video so here it is, oh, quite large. <laughs> it looks a little bit bigger from this angle, but so basically the box is supposed to have 40 pieces in it and it cost about $25 on eBay and uh, another like 25 or so for shipping. So I'm really excited to see what's in here. So I've got my scissors here, I'm just gonna open it up. And I was looking through the description on eBay because I actually didn't read it before because I don't know why <laughs> when I ordered it. And basically the box is supposed to have a lot of new clothes in it too, which I wasn't really expecting for this price and for eBay. But I think it's partially uh, wholesalers that couldn't maybe sell these items in their store and then they were selling them on eBay. So it's not totally thrifting, but I'm still regardless excited to see what is in here. <laughs> yeah, it looks like some of the stuff is loose and some of it is like still in packaging. So here, I'll show you guys what it looks like. This is basically what I'm seeing when I open it up. Lots of clothes, lots of different fabrics, which I'm excited about. Yeah, so I'm gonna like look through here and organize it a little bit and I'll show you guys some of the cute stuff. Okay, I just <laughs> went through and sorted out all the clothes, tried on a couple pieces, and um, this should be a lesson to always read the description because guys, the clothes are so ugly. <laughs> I feel a little bit bad for even purchasing all of this. Honestly, it's like 99% polyester. Kind of a major fail. But there's a few cotton pieces and there's some stuff that I can maybe work with, like some lace pieces. So I'm just gonna try to thrift flip some, I'm gonna stick to my plan. I shouldn't be too disappointed, it was so cheap. I'm an amateur, obviously. <laughs> This is a stretchy cotton wrap dress, but it's not really a wrap dress because it doesn't wrap around. It's just cinched at the waist and has strips of fabric that wrap around the waist. So I decided to make this into a more true wrap dress by cutting off the skirt uh, from the top, removing the cinched waist, cut the neckline and reattach the skirt to the open top. I added the strips of fabric to each side and if you have seen a wrap dress before, I hope this description makes sense. I also uncut the sleeves and hemmed the neckline to finish it off. It turned out really cute. Next, I have this large blue dress, which felt soft yet sturdy, kind of like a mix between linen and cotton. I decided to make this into a two-piece set, a tank top and a pleated skirt. I did this by cutting the top the length I wanted it and used the remainder of the fabric to make the skirt. For the top, I used a new neckline and brought the sides in a bit. And for the skirt, I started the pleats at the widest point and began pleating until it fit around my waist but I left some fabric on each end to add the buttons and the buttonholes and then I cropped the skirt, used the extra fabric to make the waistband and I love how it turned out. I think it's super fun and playful. This uh, lace top was really cute to begin with. I like the lace sleeves and collar, but the lace X crossover design 
wasn't really my style so I cut off the bottom X and I hemmed the bottom then I used that piece I cut off to line the front side triangles because the fabric was really sheer and I love how it turned out I think it's super cute and it was really easy I knew I wanted to do something with this piece because the fabric is really soft but I didn't really like the design of the long t-shirt dress it's not really something I would likely wear so I decided to crop the shirt at the hem that is oddly already on the dress. I left two triangles below the hemline to tie up the waist and I also cut off the collar and made a new neckline and hemmed the bottom. I think it turned out really cute. I could see myself wearing this to the beach as a cover up because the fabric is really light and sheer. I really like this top as it came but I decided to try to make it into something new because that was the whole point of ordering the box. So I cut up a seam that was going down the back middle and made that the new open front. I then cut off the collar and cut that lace trim down the middle, attached it to the open seam, got a little piece of ribbon, tied the top together. It was so easy to make and I think it's so cute and dainty. I just absolutely love it. The box came with three of these long beige t-shirt dresses, so I made several tops from this fabric. The first on the right has a double flap with round edges, idea I stole from Pinterest. And next on the left, I added the lace trim. I cut off the cropped white tee from earlier. I made a square neckline and threaded a ribbon through it. Now on the right again, I made a tank top with a new neckline and some triangle lining on the bodice, tied it up with a little bow. And finally, on the left again, I made a simple square neckline top with a small pleat on the top and a matching pleat at the waist. I love how these turned out, and it was really great practice with this fabric. The box also came with the green version of this dress, so I made yet another square neckline because I obviously love the style and strung some ribbon through it yet again. I might try to switch out some of these ribbons because I just used what I had lying around, but I really love this style and love how it turned out. Next, I used this long gray t-shirt dress to make another wrap dress similar to the green version from earlier. I just really love the wrap dress style and made it basically the same way except I needed to make the wrap around strips and I also hemmed the bottom a little shorter, but the top portion is still wrapped around and tied in the back. Next, I used this long gray and white striped dress to make another two-piece set. The fabric was a little stiffer than the blue dress, so it was a bit more challenging to fit correctly. I simply cut the skirt from the top, then added the buttons and hemmed. I also needed to put some darts in the back so it would fit around my waist, although it doesn't look as sleek as I would probably want, so I won't probably keep this skirt. But I wanted to leave it in for the video because I think it looks cute with the top, and the top I very much like. I just uh, hemmed it and made some slits on the sides, created a new neckline, and it also came with a little zipper on the back, which was a really nice detail. So overall, I think it was a good transformation. This top is super plain, but the oversized t-shirt with the sleeves and the mock turtleneck is kind of a trend, so I just left it in the video. It's not really my style, but the fabric was pretty nice. And this jacket, it's kind of insane. The pattern is interesting to say the least. It's not embroidered, it's printed on, so I didn't really know what to do with this other than make it into a skirt. I cut off the bottom half of the jacket, sewed the sides together, then I also cut off the collar and sewed it together to make the waistband. For the pink top, I just cropped it a little bit. I don't really like either of these pieces that much. I thought the skirt was an okay transformation and um, it's at the end of the video, so hopefully not too many people stuck around to see this one. But if you did, thank you so much. I hope you guys liked some of these transformations and I'll see you in the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. This is the first YouTube video I've ever made and I really had a good time making it. I hope you enjoyed the thrift flips. Um, I'm sure you noticed I didn't use all of the clothes from the box on eBay. Um, a lot of the fabric was polyester, as I mentioned, which is non-biodegradable and it's not very easy to work with. So I will be donating the remainder of the clothes that I didn't use. Um, it's just not something I'm interested in working with and not something I would particularly wear. I also just um, bought another box on eBay of secondhand clothes that are actually secondhand. I read the description 
and um, I'm really excited to get those and make another video for you guys. Um, I just wanted to throw that in there, explain how, you know, I'm just learning about all of this and it's a new hobby and I just wanted to explain what will happen to the rest of the clothes and address how I plan on getting better at upcycling um, and online purchasing in general. So that's all I really have for you guys today. I hope everyone is safe and healthy and thanks again for watching. Alright, bye. <laughs>